Welcome to another episode of Fix and Take on My Kitchen Table. Um, this is going to be a housing replacement for Game Boy Color. You may have seen this Game Boy Color in my last video just about um, changing the battery um, contacts and getting it to work that way. So um, here is the uh, contact that I did change, but um, the case, to be honest, is a little bit knackered. It's all scratched up. And, um, basically, I'm just going to swap it for this new clear case. Uh, and. Uh, Hopefully it shouldn't take too long, so um, without further ado, uh, we need to open up the Game Boy again. Hopefully it should just be a case of just... Um, taking the main circuit board out and the speakers and what have you and literally just swapping things over. I'll have to swap over the the batch contact I think that I changed already but uh, as I say in the last video it was a case of just popping it out and popping it in so there should be no issues with that. I actually do have a screw missing from this case. It was rusted to to hell. So um, yeah, so that's the back part. Obviously, come off. Um, in the new one, there's no. Oh, there is a batch contact already. So I don't even have to go swapping that about. So uh, I'll just leave that to one side. I mean, to be honest, if you really wanted, you could just half and half it like that. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look as good as the full clear case, so let's keep that to one side for a second. So, what we need to do is just take the, um, let's see, get the right screwdriver. I'm assuming we take these these screws out here. Let's see if it comes out. So the Phillips screws go on the inside. The tri ring screws go on the outside. I think it's probably worth noting that the Phillips screws are denoted by the circle round the hole, just so you make sure you get your right screws in the right place. Because if if you put um, a screw in the wrong place, then you're not going to get your back case on properly. So. Okay, so we open it up here. This is obviously the screen. I'm not sure how we get a screen out, but uh, let's uh, undo the ribbon. Assuming we just flick these. So we just take out the ribbon cable. Be very careful with this, obviously. Pull the tabs up and pull it out. So that's your main board out. Uh, keep your buttons safe. <clears throat> right. You obviously don't want to go peeling it all off and forcing it to come out. It's probably glued in there. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Flex in the plastic just pops off the glue and hopefully should just come out. Go. Try not to touch the uh, front of the screen or drop it face down because what's going to happen is you're going to end up with lots of dirt and stuff on it. So uh, another good tip is to find some sellotape and just sellotape the front of the screen off. Mm -hmm. I should have prepared already, but get yourself some sellotape. 
just bang it on the front. What this does is obviously protects the screen when you're handling it, put it in your case and what have you. But also, if you do get any bits on it, when you peel the screen off, sorry, peel the tape off, uh, any bits that are on the screen will come off. So that's nice and secure. Key that to your side. Okay. So, your new case. Comes with new buttons, and new pads, a sticker for the back, screen, um, cover. So it should just be a case of getting your screen, popping it in there, get the plastic off first. So you might have to use some sort of double-sided tape, maybe, um, just to stick it down. Yeah, it looks that way. All right, so let me uh, dig out some double-sided tape, and uh, we'll stick that on there. As I say, I've never done this before, so I don't know what kit I'm going to need, but... Uh, a bit of double sided tape. I'm only going to do the double sided tape just on, on two sides, I'm not going to go on all four sides. You keep the tape away from the actual pixels of the screen, and again, try not to get your your fin fingerprints on the on the front of the screen. So when that's stuck on, try and get the backing off the tape. Obviously, leaving the tape on there. Easier said than done. It's one side done. Oh, what a nightmare. There we go. Second one done. Make sure you get it the right way around. Pop it in there. And just push it down. Speaker in first, make sure you keep your connector out of the way. Oh. Right, so where I put the uh, tape doesn't seem to go, 
的的。Oh, I see the、uh, screen's raised a tiny bit above where the plastic is. I'm surprised that's not sticking. Looks like it is raised on the outside edge. Ah, I can tell you what you're doing. Don't bother sticking the tape to the screen. Stick the tape to the case. I don't know if I'm, I'm having kittens trying to get this off. But,、uh, right. Try it again, shall we? Right. I'm going to put my、uh, little protective cover back on the, on the screen.、Just Well, I'm putting this double-sided tape on again. So, actually, I'm gonna stick it on all four sides this time, so it'll be a bit easier. Should have thought about this first, to be honest. It's probably we're not doing it before. See, the sticky stuff doesn't have to be straight, straight. It just has to be on there, and obviously not fouling the front. Okay, get that out. Make sure it's down firmly. Peel off the back. Right, let's try this again, shall we? So, take off my tape again. Place it on the front. Make sure it's straight. Should be straight. Push it down. Ah,、oh, it's not moving now. So that's always a good start. Now try again. Put the speaker in first. The ribbon out the way. Put the ribbon in. Try not to. Bend it too much as you put it in. Pop it in. Close the tabs. It secures the ribbon. Now, what I'm going to do is just pop the back case on. I'm not going to screw it in first. Just make sure 
but um, everything's working correctly. So grab my batteries. Now, oh, of course, I've uh, forgot about the buttons, but we can just use this to turn it on. No gaming, but obviously the screen still works. It's always good to just do that because otherwise you stick it all back together and then you realise it don't work. So you gotta take it all all the screws out again, so yeah. So now I can't get the screen out. There we go. So now I'm gonna screw it down with the Phillips screwdrivers, so it's Phillips screws in the screw holes with the circle round, one in the middle first. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm not going to screw it in yet because I need to put the bleed in. Let's put the, uh, the buttons on. Probably really helpful to put buttons in because otherwise you can't play nothing. D pad in. It's obviously a little key there to show which way it goes on. your on off switch there so that'll go in in a bit. A and B buttons, let's make sure I get these the right way around. Let me dig out another Game Boy and have a look. So A and B, A is on the right, B is on the left or closest to the middle. And handily, looks like you can only get these in that way. Put the right one in. So it was a good start. Put your pads on. On and off button, get that in there. Now we start screwing in. Using the correct screw. Oh, I'm not on form today. So everything's still hunky dory. Make sure all the screws are in tight, that one's not at all.
Of course, I'm making all these mistakes on purpose, so you don't have to believe that you believe anything. So now it is time for the back case again. From the right way, that always helps. When you pop in the back case, make sure you don't touch your screen like I've just done. Get your screws all back in. What you do with old cases, just tap them in just a wee bit, don't tighten them up. And then once you've tightened them, once you've got them all in and seated correctly, then start going around and tightening them up. Just make sure everything goes on straight basically. And tighten them all up. Now, obviously, I've got the front bit to go on, so hopefully, we just and do it out of the packet. It looks like it's got a sticker on it already. So I'll just take that out. Pop in the hole, stick it out. And there you are. So, again, just a wee test. Let's get cartridge in there this time. Get my batteries, put them in. And there we go. Simple as that. So, Make sure all the buttons work. Not easy to see for you, but uh, all the buttons seem to be working, yeah. And that's it. Ah, you know what? I've just noticed something there. Forgot to put the little cover in for the uh, infrared there. Um, doesn't look like you get a cover with the case, so. Um, I assume you just take it off this one here. Yeah, pop it off and stick it on. That was a silly mistake, wasn't it? So, um, take that apart and uh, stick it back in. Obviously, don't forget to do that because you've seen me do it and that's a bit silly, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. Nice quick demo of how not to put a new case on a Game Boy Color. Um, that's for this time on fixing tech on my kitchen table. Um, hopefully, I'll get it right next time.